Oh boy, I sense a fight incoming. Who the hell are you? In fact, don't answer that. You'll be dead soon enough anyway. Oh, blood tide, Diabolica. I'm so glad you're here. I couldn't take much more of that song. Oh, Gora, how on earth do you even get into these situations? It's completely unorthodox. Do you honestly have to ask? I mean, this is Gorok we're talking about. He's an idiot. Do you honestly think the two of you can take on all of us? You're impossibly outnumbered. You guys had better be really strong. It's been a while since I've had a decent fight. So if you're not really strong, then I'll just have to kill you really quickly. You are such an idiot. You will die without even having wounded a single one of us. Jeffrey, play track four. You could be more wrong. I wounded two of you and I'm still alive. Now then, boys, show yourselves. Teleporting noise. Ugh. But whatever. It looks like it's time for us to begin the next phase of our plan of revenge. Let's get out of here. Trickster, you stay. You know exactly what to do. Very well, Malachite. Teleporting Noise Part 2! Dark, they've all gone. Cows. Everyone, follow me. Blood Tide, you stay here and deal with that guy. Oh, and free um, the prisoners, if you want, okay? Oh god damn it, more fucking teleporting? Ugh, so annoying! Well, 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 it looks like it's just you and me now. It seems that way, doesn't it? Hmm, I would ask you for your name, but there'd be no point. You'll be dead soon anyway. Oh, you may not want to know my name, but I may want to know your name. If I don't know your name, then there, there could be a problem. Oh, and why is that? Why else? So I can label you when I bottle you up. Oh, God. It looks like this entire fight is going to be a complete rip-off of... Mayuri vs. Cezile Opero Grants from Bleach. Will you shut up, you insolent fool? I already told you. There's going to be plenty of Bleach references in the following episodes to come. You've been warned. If you don't like it, then go away. Well, yes, this fight is going to be a lot like the fight you just mentioned. Except there's one small difference. I'm going to win. <laughs> what trickery is this? Ah, <laughs> ah. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, what did he just do? 
It seemed like he just scratched me, then teleported back to his location. What technique is this? <laughs> it seems like your fate has been sealed. My unfortunate opponents. I've now added a sample of your blood to my chalice of pain and suffering. Now your body is under my control. Now, say goodbye to your right love. <coughs> Darn it! What did you do to me, you... Freak! Oh, it's best to keep your voice down, my good doctor. After all, with one lung, breathing is going to be a problem for you. Now scream out in agony as I crush all the tendons in your right arm. You poor thing. I never thought it could end this way. It saddens me very greatly to see a fellow scientist in such a pitiful state. Oh well, I suppose I'll just have to put you out of your misery. Uh, blood died. No, this this can't be. He he's dead. How can that be? <laughs> oh, oh my! You call yourself a scientist? If you couldn't even find a way to break through that technique, I pity you, blood tie. <laughs> I suppose to reward you for your courage, I'll take your body back to my laboratory and dissect you. Just kidding! What? How, how are you still alive? I, I snapped your neck! You should be dead! Oh, it takes a lot of more than that to kill me. <laughs> I always try to come prepared before I go into battle against an enemy I do not know. Long ago, I, inf I injected Elikin with infinite quantities of surveillance bacteria. So basically, any battle he's been in, I've been able to record all of his opponent's moves. Including that very nasty technique you use, with that chalice of yours. So in preparation for my fight with you, I replaced all my organs, muscles, tendons and bones with dummies. What? How? How could you replace all of your organs, bones, and muscles with with full, with artificial ones in such a short amount of time? It hasn't even been a day since I revealed my technique to Ellie Kid. On the contrary, I did, and that is exactly why I'm here. Now wait just a goddamn minute. You did what? You infected me with infinite quantities of surveillance bacteria. What? Oh boy, here comes an Ellie Kid rant. Brace yourselves, people. How dare you infect me, Alan Ellie Kid Simpson, with, with these bacteria? Just why would you do that? You can't do that. that that's invasion of privacy. That is basically against human rights. You could have been spying on my private life for anything. Just just what? If you were going to do that to me, you could have at least asked for me for permission. Wait, are you even listening to me? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you say something? Ugh, I hate you. Wow, this guy's even weirder than I thought. You mean bacteria? 
Wow. Oh, damn it. That, that means my chalice is completely useless. Curse you. My, my. Everyone keeps chattering. Ching. It's so noisy. <laughs> oh, well, it seems I've played with you for long enough now. Would you like me to show you exactly why there's no possible way for you to defeat me? <laughs> In fact, don't answer that. It's time for you to meet your maker. <sighs> huh? His power is, is growing stronger. How can this be? Unbelievable! His power is incredible! His wings, they've grown somehow! Is this blood tie's true form? Is this what a Sin Makuta looks like? My, my! For someone so ignorant, you truly are very observant. Yes, the form you see before you is my ultimate form. The ultimate form that can only be achieved by Makuta. You may now call me Sin Blood. Also, didn't you know that the shape of a Makuta's wings is a symbol of his true power? Look at my wings. Aren't they truly elegant? That is my true power. Sin blood tight? <laughs> Let's end this once and for all! No, no, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! If, if only I had more time, I could, I could... Uh, uh, uh. A blood tide? What is it, Ellie kid? You know you could produce those two blades from your arms, right? Yes. Well, can you produce anything else from your arms? You know, like um, like hedge trimmers, um, knives, forks, spoons, other utensils. That would be very, very handy. Uh, do you want to die? 